Hey everyone, welcome to our elite call. This is an awesome call that we're gonna kick off 2015 to help everyone to know what elite is, um, how to get to elite, and all of the details of how we're gonna make this happen. So this is an awesome group. It's really grown. It, I think there's like 80 people in this group. Um, so whether you're watching this live or watching the recording, um, we are in this together and we're gonna all help each other reach our big goals. So I wanted to, um, to invite Keishan on the line. Um, if you could just mute your line so we can have a clear recording. Um, but I want to invite Keyshawn on the line. She is the West Coast um, manager, and she is amazing. So she's going to help us to know what Elite is all about. So welcome, Keyshawn. Thank you so much, Shannon. Thank you, thank you, thank you, team, for allowing me to join your Elite call today. I'm really excited to be here. So um, I'm just going to spend maybe 15, 20 minutes going over Elite, um, kind of sharing about our elite tracker that we just posted in the FAQ. Um, and then I'll open the floor for some questions if you guys have any questions about anything. So thank you for the warm introduction, Shannon. Um, a little bit about me, I am your West Regional Manager and I work with Two Star Diamonds through Five Star Diamonds. And I get the pleasure of um, providing some additional accountability, goal setting, and um, just brainstorming ways and ideas to make sure that goals, your goals are, are achieved and met. So um, most of the leaders that I work with have a goal of going for elite. And um, I actually, this was my first full year of being able to see a coach start the year with the goal of hitting elite and, and finish the year hitting that goal. So it was really, really cool to see. But just before I came into this position that I'm in, now, I was actually with Coach Relations, so I'll just share a little bit of my background with you guys before I kind of go into um, the details of this evening. Um, so I am originally from Indianapolis, Indiana. I went to college down in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, a girlfriend that I knew growing up all throughout elementary, all throughout college, found Turbo Fire, found Shalene Johnson, found Shakeology, and completely just changed her world, changed her life. and. Um, I had to know who this company was. Who is a Shalene Johnson? So I did some research, um, found, I probably, if I would have done better research, I, I'm sure I would have ended up being a coach. But anyway, found some research, found that there was an opportunity to work in their call center down in California as um, in coach relations. So I took my management degree and went over to coach relations, started in admin, started doing your, your enrollments and your cancellations, got into placement changes, was a temporary employee for about a year, became a permanent employee right away, or after um, that eight months to a year. As soon as I became a permanent employee, they made me a manager over the escalation team. And at Summit, just two years ago, I actually walked up to Jess Hill, who is now our executive vice president of Global Sales, and, and shook his hand, told him my name is Keyshawn Graves, and my dream big goal, which was our, um, our motto that year was to work for him a part of his team. And so a few short months later, I packed up my things from LA and moved to Utah to work a part of Jeff Hill's team um, in Provo, in the Provo office. So it's been an amazing experience. And I've been in this position now just under a year and a half. And it's really cool to set that goal at the beginning and to see it happen. So I'm a firm believer, I'm a huge proponent of setting audacious goals that kind of don't make sense, but uh, seeing them come into fruition. So anyway, I just wanted to share that background story, a little bit about me. So again, I'm here to talk about Elite, um, and just to kind of let you know what you already know, <laughs> Elite is the top 10th of a percent of the company. I know I see often the top 1%, I'm like, man, no, it's even smaller than that. This is the top 10th um, of a percent of, the, of this entire company. And um, even though you see the individual standing on stage or the individual down in the seating at Summit, it truly is a team effort. You know, these are teams who rally together, knowing how each one of them affects one another with the common goal to be an elite team. Um, so that's what elite is. And we see the perks. <laughs> there are some amazing perks. Um, I think the biggest one is that your, your business grows. And we haven't quite released all the details 
for your 2015 elite coaches, but here are just some that your 2014 elite coaches, um, and, and by the way, they historically stay pretty similar, but here are some of the perks that your 2014 coaches are, are reaping this year. Um, so again, the biggest thing is that your business grows. You are clearly helping more people and you're teaching your team how to efficiently help more people as well, help people, um, period. Um, you get the title of elite coach. Your team is an elite team. It's a huge confidence boost. And again, it's a, it's an indicator that you're clearly doing something right in regards to helping people efficiently, which could be something that also attracts more people to you, right? Um, another perk would be, and this is a, probably a big one, the Success Club bonus. So every month that you hit Success Club, something that for most of us on this call is a must happen, you get $500. <laughs> so when you hit the cup of five or 10 in any calendar month, you get $500. You get some VIP floor access to Summit. Um, you get uh, to attend an elite day, which is a one night stay somewhere. Uh, you get some VIP seating at the leadership retreat. You get VIP training um, at these different retreats. Um, you get invited to the mastermind session and it, just amazing perks. I can go on and on and on and on and on, but really the big one again is how your team grows and how your business grows based on just helping people and knowing that you're clearly doing something right by helping people. Um, so when I say helping people, I mean truly just working from the heart and changing lives. That's what we're all here for. And so if you're not, if you're doing that and that's your goal and you're not going for elite, I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> because one, this is the perfect platform to start. This is a brand new year. This is January of all times. I mean, I've seen people do this at the middle of the year, but this is January of all times. So we get to um, kind of go with the, with the whole New Year's resolution and people getting back into their healthy fitness goals. And this elite thing is truly about working to help at least three people every month at Success Club on your team, and obviously you yourself hitting it also. But I feel like this is an elite group, so I don't have to talk about you yourself hitting Success Club. You, we all know that that's, what, that's a no-brainer. We have to do that. But this is truly just about rallying your team to get at least three people to be committed to also leading from the heart and be willing to change lives to help people achieve their goals, living healthy, fulfilling lives. Three people every month, Success Club Five. So let me just break that down. So um, I asked Shannon to ensure that you guys all had access to the elite guide that we created. If you did not get access to that in her group, um, it is in the FAQ, FAQ 7626. And I really, I challenge you all on this call to get it, to download it, to print it out, and to fill it out. <laughs> and, and to go beyond filling it out, to fill it out and then send it to your upline and or your regional manager. And then as you are doing your accountability calls, bring this document up. You know, ensure that you're on track. Make sure that this is something that you reference daily. So basically, we created this goal guide because we wanted something that broke down monthly what you should do, what you should focus on to hit Success Club, and make it so that we're not making this thing called elite that seems so scary, seems so big, and for if you're anything like me, we're, we're easy to complicate things. You know, we just wanted to make things simple so it's not overwhelming. So again, print out the goal guide. So pay, the first page includes all the instructions on how to use it. And then that second page is the space where you will put in your personal elite goal. You don't have to do the goals that are on the front page. Those are just some good markers, some good um, benchmarks, so to speak. If you feel like you wanna do more, go for it, gut check yourself. But page one, again, just is all the instructions on how to fill out page two for your personal goals. And that's located in 7626. And Shannon also told me that it's located in this group. So fill it out. So since the goal guide has its own instructions, I'll make some reference to it this evening. But I really want the bulk of my focus and the bulk of this conversation to be on the requirements to hit elite. 
So at the end, I'll open the floor for a few questions. If you do have some questions about the goal guide or how to use it or how to make sure you're maximizing your success with it, um, feel free to definitely save those for the end and I'll get to them. So basically, just going over elite, to be a 2015 elite coach, there are a few things, three things mostly. You'll want to be a five-star diamond coach or higher. So I heard one coach, I think it was Trisha, I was just coming in, um, say that she wanted to be a five-star coach. If your goal is to be a five-star coach by the end of the year, your goal should definitely be elite. It should just come together. So you'll want to be a five-star diamond coach by December 30th. You'll want to have advanced two personally sponsored coaches to the lifetime rank of diamond coach or higher for the first time in 2015. And they need to be a paid diamond rank or higher on um, – December 30th. And then the third way to earn to be a 2015 elite coach, excuse me, is to earn 135 elite points. And you can earn those 135 elite points in these three categories. So the first category to earn those 135 elite points is through your success club. So you'll get one point for every personally sponsored coach who enrolled in 2014 or 2015 and who hit Success Club 5 or 10. So any 2014, 2015 coach who hit Success Club 5 or 10, you'll receive one point in that month for that coach. However, when you yourself, because again, I'm not, we're not even, this is a no brainer, you guys all on this call hit Success Club. So when you hit Success Club, you then double those points. Ah. So on the goal guide, you'll probably notice the example we have four. So if you focus on helping four of your personally sponsored coaches who enrolled in 2014, 2015, if you focus on four of those hitting success clubs every month and you yourself hit it, then you'll end the year with 96 points in that category, which completely maxes that out because the max for that category is 61 points. So that's awesome. Okay, but just to let you guys know, if four even seems like, oh my gosh, I, it's January and I'm just starting this thing, I, ju I just became a coach or I'm just getting reengaged and four coaches hitting success club sounds kind of scary. First of all, again, I've seen coaches do this at, with six months left, so it can be done. But just to let you guys all know, you can totally max out this category even with three PS coaches hitting success club every month. And then, of course, you yourself hitting it also. And that, those three plus you, will end the year with 72 points in that category, still completely maxing out that success club category. So how do we go about uh, hitting success club and getting, or not hitting success club, getting our team to hit success club? Well, creating the success club culture. This is just what our team does. This is how we do it. We talk to this many people. We follow up with at least this many people. Um, we invite this many to our challenge groups. We invite this many to the business opportunity. This is how we go about hitting success club. And on our team, we help three people every month. And I recognize how many people you help every week. And at the end of the month, I'll track how many, how many total people our entire team is helping, i.e. success club. But just creating the success club culture so that your team buys into the fact that, one, this is what we're here for, really, to help people. But two, success club is a great tracker in order to ensure that you are doing what our, all of our goal is, which is to help people. So, again, three can be a good benchmark for you to shoot for. Go for more. If you're going for top ten, I challenge you to work your way up towards 20 PS coaches in a success club every month. Okay, so the second category and the second way to earn your 135 elite points is through your personal sponsor personal volume. So you'll earn one point for every brand new 2015 coach who produces at least 500 personal volume. So you'll get one point for every 500 personal volume points produced by your 2015 coaches. Really, the way to um, points, those personal sponsor, personal volume points, 
is by as you bring in your new coaches, that you bring in these business builders, you teach them right away how to have those challenge groups and, and, and help them add at least three people in these challenge groups right away. Three, three people at around 150 personal volume is around, is around 450, right? So that's almost the 500 for one coach. And this is a combined running total for all of your 2015 coaches. So again, I love what Elite does because they're these little puzzle pieces, these three puzzle pieces, these three categories, but they truly do make sense together. So, so far I've, I spoke on Success Club, I spoke on personal sponsor, personal volume, and really so far I've told us to focus on helping three of our PS coaches um, hit Success Club every month. Okay, so then the third category, the third way to earn your 135 elite points is through your ATV, your advancement team volume. And so you'll earn one point for every 10,000 incre incremental ATV points earned in 2015 compared or over what you earned in 2014. So you'll want to hit, you'll want to earn what you earned in 2014, and then you'll want to see an incremental increase of at least 130,000. Because the minimum, and this is the only category that has a minimum, is 13. You need at least, if you max down those other two categories, you need at least 13 or 130,000 incremental volume over last year. Okay, so how do you do this? And this is one that people get hung up on because they see these big numbers. Mind you, let me just make sure I make this very clear. A lot of these ATV points will not begin to accrue until well into the year. So don't feel discouraged if you're not earning points right away in this category. Um, but a lot of people get hung up because you see these, these bigger numbers again. The way to earn ATV is to really dig deep down in your organization because this, you earn your ATV points on your three direct lines of sponsorship, your PS, your PSPS, and your PSPSPS, your kids, your grandkids, your great grandkids. So just reaching down to these three direct lines of sponsorship and again, ensuring that everyone has bought into the idea that we are here to help people achieve their goals and live healthy, fulfilling lives and a great tracker to ensure that we are meeting our goal is Success Club. And everyone is hitting Success Club deep down and creating the Success Club culture deep down within your organization. So don't get hung up in the ATV. Don't get hung up in any of these categories. Again, these are just little puzzle pieces that truly do work together to form elite, and it really boils down to Success Club and just creating that, that team, that Success Club team, this elite team that focuses on helping X amount of people every month, okay? But that's really it. And, and you know, I, I'm about, what, uh, just a few, about 20 minutes into this call. That's really, really it. For elite. It, it's it can be done. You know, what I truly, what I love about seeing all of our elite co coaches up on stage is that they're older, they're younger, they have six packs, they have no packs. There are some people up there who have other full-time careers. There are moms, there are dads, there are husbands, there are wives, there are grandparents, there are city flickers, there are farmers, like you name it, they're up there. There are there's people that are absolutely no different than you on this call right now. There are, I've seen people who have done it in one year. I've seen people, I've mentioned several times in this call, I've seen people do it in six months. That's your Megan E. Wilson, who, your Ryan Chapman, who had aha moments at Summit, saw people on stage and said, I deserve to be up there. Our team deserves to be an elite team. And they decided with six months to go in the year that they were going to do it. That, those are your uh, Megan Tuckers, who was a diamond coach when I met her back in May, a diamond coach. And she's a five-star elite coach. I've seen people do this in one year. I've seen a, a top 10 coach do this in less than 24 months. I've seen coaches take five years to do this. But what I'm saying is, is that it can be done. Whatever your pace is, it can be done. If you make this your goal, don't, don't let any excuse be your excuse because those people on stage are no different than you and your team deserves it. You deserve it. This is a great tracker to make sure that you are truly doing what you said you wanted to do by being a part of this company, which is help people live healthy, fulfilling lives. 
And so I mentioned at the beginning that this is a perfect platform because this is January. Let's start the year off strong. Let's focus on recruiting now. Um, please know, just a, a, a random tip, please also know that your additional business center, so if you open up your secondary, your third business center, they are treated as they were your original business centers for early purposes. Um, so all of those PS coaches that you enroll in those secondary business centers, if they're 2014, 2015, they absolutely count towards your elite. And also know that if you're going for elite 10, or if you're like Shannon, you want to be in the top 25 of the company, know how that is ranked. And that's ranked, it's called your elite top 10 ranking, is based on your PS success club and your PS TV. And then make sure you're tracking your elite points. Use this document. Use Google Docs, use whatever, pen and paper or whiteboard, whatever makes sense for you, but track it. But then more than all that, just have fun and push yourself and push your coaches and know that this is a, a great indicator that you guys have achieved your goal of helping people achieve their goals. And that's truly all that elite is. I, tr I believe in each and every one of you on this call. Um, when Shannon told me that there were 78 people in this group who want to be an elite contender, I literally got chills. It, it almost brings tears to my eyes because, you know, elite is, is, the, is, the, is the shiny thing, right? But truly what you guys are all telling me is that you're in this. You're in this to help people. You're in this to then teach people how to help people. And we're just doing a snowball effect and we are really achieving our mission of any of the trend of obesity. And I love you all for that. And I cannot wait to receive your goal guide if you're in the West region. Um, I'm sure I, I can speak on behalf of Alex Bunton in the East and Jeff Crumminhook in the Central region. They can't wait to receive yours. Get them to us. Let us hold you accountable. Get them to your success partner. Let's hold each other accountable. Let's do this. Why not you? So that's all I have for tonight. Um, again, I did say that I will open the floor for some questions and answers. I don't know how much longer we have, Shannon, but I would love to go ahead and answer any questions that anyone may have. Okay, awesome. Well, thanks, Keyshawn. That was amazing. Um, I just love hearing you talk and your story, and thank you for simplifying Elite. So thank you so much. No problem. All right, so let's bring up some questions. Um, we have a lot of people on the line, but if you want to unmute your line or post in the chat box, um, let's open it up to questions. Hi, Keyshawn and Shannon. It's Colleen Eddy. I always have Hello questions. Hello there. <laughs> um, I was going to ask you tomorrow, but I'll just ask you now. So. I, for the most part, can track the success club for coaches and things like that, but it's pretty hard without the elite report to track the PV for your coaches and the ATV. Is there any way, am I missing anything? <laughs> Shannon, do you want to discuss how you track? Sure. Um, the main thing I tracked last year, which was really helpful, is um, a spreadsheet um, that Keyshawn can show you. But it's awesome. I just put a category and made the months and then put the names of each person and how many success club points they were earning. And so then every week I talked to Keyshawn and I told her, you know, how many success club points each of my coaches were getting. Um, and so I was mostly tracking the success club points um, because then that falls into all the other categories. And so I wouldn't worry too much about tracking volume or ATV, especially like the first, um, you know, six months of the year. Um, just really focus on success club and then the other categories happen because of doing that. Wouldn't you think, Keyshawn? I 1000% agree. Um, if you are a truly emerald personality, if you guys are familiar with Danny Johnson's gyms, those are just people who like to see their facts, they like to see their stats, they like their spreadsheets, etc. So if you are that type of person and um, just tracking Success Club is not enough, then you can go into your back office and you'll go to my business tab and then you'll go to uh, my downline, sponsorship drill down. Now this is a way to see your personal sponsor, personal volume. Okay, so once you go to my sponsorship drill down, and you will edit the report. 
you'll take out everything you don't need and you'll add only what you do need. So the year that they enrolled and then they're, they're rolling um, personal volume points. Then the thing is, though, is that you'll want to run that report in an Excel spreadsheet or whatever way is more efficient for you. And that way you can then filter it. So that's how you can keep track of your PFTV. You can even add um, uh, formulas in that Excel spreadsheet so that every week you can come, you can add your new one, and then it adds up automatically. So that's your PFTV. Um, and then you also asked about your personal sponsor team volume. So you'll also, that's in your My Business tab in the back office. Then you'll go to My Volume. Now this list, your total PV, this list, your left, left leg volume, your right leg volume, which I'm sure you guys already knew that. So you'll just, um, you can run the report again in Excel, and then you'll just filter it. And, and because this is weekly, you'll want to obviously do this on a weekly basis. And then you can, again, create a formula so that it continues to add that on every week. So those are some other ways, if you, if you have to. But again, like Shannon mentioned, the big focus is just have who is hitting success club, like know their names. And, and we love those consistent earners. We love them. We know who they are already. Let's add them in there. But the reason why I love having their names is for the inconsistent. See who is maybe consistently hitting three success club points. Let's make sure no one's falling under the, the rug. Let's pick up the phone. Hey, are you hitting these points on purpose, on accident? If they're on purpose, then let, let me help you get to five. So track exactly who your coaches are that count towards elite and know what they're doing as far as success clubs each month. And that also is a report that you can run in your back office and you can edit that report into an Excel spreadsheet. So Colleen, I hope that long-winded answer gave you the answer you were looking for. No, it did. Thank you. And just one clarification that our second CVCs don't count for 2015 for, for PV. So your, the volume that your secondary business center produced as its own business center, it, it rolls up. Those volume points roll up to your sponsor. However, your personally sponsored coaches, so if you have 2014, 2015 first personally sponsored coaches in that second CBC, the volume that they accrue will roll up to you. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Um, because I just know that originally we, you know, we would in our second business center put customer challenge packs and customer orders underneath there. But I, I'm like a huge FAQ freak, and I pulled it from there today, and it says beginning January 2015, PV produced from secondary coach business centers will no longer count towards elite points. Right. So those customer orders that you're referring to, that would be that own CBC's personal volume. So um, the personal volume is that own CBC's personal orders and the orders from their customers. But your coaches, your personally sponsored coaches that you placed in there that were that you enrolled in 2014, 2015, the volume that they earned, so their personal orders and their customer orders, that those are the points that count towards your elite. Okay. Does that break that down better? Because I, I see what you're, I completely see what you, question you're asking. Yeah. I just, I didn't think that, I don't know. I, I guess we'll chat about it tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope, Shannon, can you maybe explain it better than I can? Maybe I'm not explaining it. Sure. Yeah, it's kind of confusing. So, so basically your coaches, success club points and coaches, personal volume count for your elite points in your second business center that counts but your volume from your second business center your personal volume that doesn't that rolls up does that clarify more yeah i'll so get it the coach oh. the coach okay. count but the main your main second business center doesn't so the, exactly yeah the, the other thing is your your coaches in your second business center if they get to diamond then those diamonds do not roll up. So that's a mistake I made last year because I have a four star and a one star. And so 
Um, make sure, like any business builders, I mean, this is just advice. If you're trying to get to five star and you're not five star right now, I would put everyone in your first business center who's a business builder. Um, you could put people in your second business center, but I'd put every business builder in your first business. So Yeah, so just to kind of piggyback off of what you just said, Shannon. So yeah, you do need to be five star in one business center. Um, it doesn't even necessarily have to be your first business center. You can hit five star on your second business center, but because of how we pull our report, you would just need to let us know that, hey, for Elite, it's actually my second business center that's hit five star. So that's the first thing I wanted to piggyback off of. And then also, let's say, for instance, you do hit five star or above in your first business. Uh, let's say you're already five star or above right now. And the only thing you had to do this year was get your points, obviously, but those two diamonds, if you, if you um, molded those two diamonds and they were in a secondary business center and they were 2015, they never hit diamond before, then they will count towards your elite. So if you were five star right now, and the only thing you had to do, let's say for instance, you say five star, <laughs> and uh, all you had to do was get your two diamonds and you molded two brand new diamonds in 2015, but they were in a secondary business center, those will count as your two diamonds as a part of your three requirements to be an elite coach. I hope I didn't just make anything confusing. <laughs> no, that's good, thank you. Not that I was the only one listening, but thank you. Yeah, so, so just make sure they're in the same spot. I guess that's the main thing. Okay, awesome. Um, we had a question on the chat. Um, I just wanted to confirm um, if anyone else was wondering. So um, they said, so for every 500 PV that your second CBC coaches get, you get a point. And yes, that's correct. Yep, as long as they were enrolled in 2015. Yeah, 2015. Great questions. What other questions do we have? So not to oversimplify this, but for those of us who don't yet have a second business center, um, is it wrong to say it might just be easiest if our number one goal is elite to stick with one for now? Um, speaking from my personal experience, I would say yes. Um, <laughs> If you are going to, my mistake, Kate, I opened my second business center in April last year and I put everyone in there because I was trying to get another diamond and then I got like five leaders in there. And so one became diamond, the other ones are still going for it, um, but my first business center became weaker because I was focusing on my second. So this is just what I would do. Um, if you do, I would focus on your first business center until like September. And then if you do need to add additional business center, then you could do it later in the year to get that one to diamond. Um, it really just depends on your goals. Um, I saw a comment from um, Colleen. You no, know, if you're going for income or if you're going for rank and elite. So it depends on your goals. But if you are going for five-star elite, um, I would put your business builders in your first business center if you're not five-star. That's just what I would do. So. But I, I mean, I agree with Colleen. My income definitely went up because of making my second business center and putting all the volume in there, but it cost me elite. So, because I built three three-star, or yeah, three start I'm in businesses so thank you sure yeah that's another good point you can always open it just to set the position and then yeah that's a good strategy too if you want to open it and then it would be in a good position so. okay any other tips on that Keyshawn no, you guys all really hit all the points that I had in my mind. Um, there's really, there's no right answer for this. I've seen it done several ways. And you do have to make sure that you are gut checking yourself, rank versus bank. Um, I'm assuming that most of you guys on this call are going for five-star elite. So, um, even, but even with that, though, there's still no right way. 
Um, what I see most often with the leaders that I work with is they will open it to get a good position and then they'll keep it in their back pocket. They'll focus their time on building their leaders, et cetera, et cetera. Um, they may add a coach here or there over there in the secondary business center, but they, um, if they need it at the end of the year, let's say they're one diamond short, et cetera, et cetera, then they focus on that in the third and fourth quarter of the year. So one thing is you definitely don't have to have a second CBC to hit elite. Um, I've seen coaches literally with one business center hit elite. So um, don't, don't even, don't, don't make it too complicated. Like I think you said it when you first started, don't make it too complicated, but just know that a lot of the leaders that I work with, they do use it kind of as a cushion. They open it up, get a good spot. And then if they need it at the end of the year, then they go ahead and, and, and add coaches over there. Okay, here's another question. Um, what happens if you're running your husband's business center and you don't know which one to go for elite in? Is it bad to go for elite in his name instead of yours? Um, Keyshawn, what would you say to that? <laughs> um, I mean, he will get the recognition. <laughs> oh, that's right. No, I mean, it's a team effort. You can change, you can, it's a team effort. It's a husband and wife duo. We have you know, husband and wife teams up there um, who were at one time just an elite couple. Um, now several of them, the Reed, Chris and Cody Reed, the Fowlers, Dennis and Julie Fowler, now they are separately hitting elite themselves, but they are, were at once an elite couple. And so, um, again, if you just let us know that that's how it, it's going to happen, we'll absolutely make sure that we are aware that it's an elite couple. Um, but no, I don't think it's bad. I think that um, you're smart to make sure that in January you're looking at these things saying, okay, which makes the most sense, um, which makes the most sense income wise, which makes the most sense elite wise. And then if, you're, if your spouse, if your husband CBC does make the most sense when you're gut checking yourself against your why and against your goals, then yeah, let's build his business center. Let's get him there. But know that come mid year, and I think that Shannon could probably attest to this, if you switch over and start building, it's, it's going to be more difficult. It can be done, but it will be more difficult to switch over. Whatever CBC you decide to focus on getting to elite, this is the quarter that you want to build big in. This is not, in my opinion, this is not the quarter that you want to be building your spouse's business center if that's not the business center that's going for elite. This is the quarter where you're focusing on your business center and adding coaches as soon as possible, as many as possible, so that we can help them learn how to earn success clubs as early as, as soon as possible. Yep, I agree. Um, okay, great. Any other questions? These are good questions. Maybe we'll take one or two more questions. Okay, anyone else? Okay, looks like we're good. Um, any final words, Keyshawn? No, thank you again so much for allowing me to be a part of the team call. I'm really excited for um, what's to come in 2015. So if you guys have any questions that maybe you didn't think of or you think of later, please feel free to reach out to me. And again, please send me over your elite guide. I'm myself, Doug, and Jeff Pearson are dying to take a look and dying to see who our elite contenders are in the West region. So thank you again, guys. Thanks, Keyshawn. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining everyone. And, you know, like we say, it really it just depends on your goals. Um, so evaluate kind of what you want to have happen in 2015. Um, I know, like Colleen, I built my husband's business center to, to two star. Um, so I kind of balanced out my uh, diamonds. I have a total of seven diamonds between three business centers. And um, and I technic I made Premier this year, but I didn't make Elite. And, and I would have made Elite if I focused on one. So it really just depends on your goals and what you want to do. Um, but I would make sure to talk to uh, your personally sponsored coach, your success partner, um, 
you know, one of us here in the group, we can help you guys. Um, but whatever your goals are, make them big and push yourself because it's surprising what you can do when you make huge goals and you go for it. So that's what this group is all about. Um, and so, yeah, I, I just wanted to open it up uh, quick and then we'll finish it off. But um, we, this group is kind of like a, just a test run to see, um, you know, where you guys want to go, what you want to do. So we want to, we don't want to give a lot of training. We don't want to get, take a lot of time from everyone, but we were thinking maybe like a once a month Zoom call, um, maybe with some guest speakers. Um, but what do you guys, what would you guys like to have out of this group? Um, so if you could put in the chat box, you could unmute your line. Um, but we'd love some feedback to see how we can best help everyone. Okay, any new ideas that work? Love sharing. Colleen is awesome at sharing. Um, okay, cool. Um, so you guys think like a once a month Zoom call would be good for, for everyone? Maybe a 30 minute Zoom call once a month? Okay. Okay, awesome. So we will plan on that. Um, our our Tuesday nights are good for you guys um, or another. I know we have West Coast, East Coast. I know I'm in California. Um, so is this time too late? Do you guys want a different day? Um, where are you guys at with that? And we could even do a poll in the group, kind of seeing where, okay, this time was good. This time was great. Okay, awesome. This time is great for me. Um, Okay, cool. So yeah, we'll plan on this time once a month. Um, and maybe if we could do it at the beginning, do you guys want to do them more at the beginning of the month so we can just kind of kick it off? Um, we could do that. Okay, cool. We'll do that. Um, and then in the group, um, maybe you know we could share best practices, share our goals. Um, you could find a success partner in there. Um, like I said, we don't want it to be a very time-consuming thing, but we just want it to be beneficial to help everyone that wants to um, have help for this goal. So, okay, awesome. Well, we're going to wrap it up. Thanks again for everyone for joining us, and it's going to be an amazing year. Have a good night, guys, and we'll see you next time. See ya.